Podtacular, the unofficial Halo Universe podcast, presents episode 812, Latency Lament, recorded live on February 10th, 2022. Hello everyone, welcome to Podtacular, the unofficial Halo Universe podcast. I am one of your co-hosts, Dust Storm. I am your co-host, Godzilla T. And I'm Haas. And we actually have some news for, to discuss. Our first community update of the year, I believe. Right? And it actually came out before the podcast. A decent amount of time before. Not an hour before, not three hours before. It was actually well, more than that. Well, yeah, it really didn't matter for me because I couldn't read it until I got home anyway. Right. But so yes. I read it at, you know, like 10 minutes before we started. At breakneck speed. <laughs> yeah. Like taking a Matrix style. Yep. Uh, and then we've got a little technical deep dive into some of the latest matchmaking issues that are plaguing Halo Infinite. Um, it's actually a really good deep dive. We'll kind of go over the specifics and detechnify some of the details in there. But first things first, we have our community update. And going on over to our streams, GT, Dragon Friday. How we do? We did really well. We actually got to uh, play some BTB in Halo Infinite. It was actually working. And then Dust broke the church's network and had to leave. Yes. I, uh, I was trying to be proactive and work on work stuff at my church while we were doing game night and I broke my network and it took me two hours to fix it remotely. Yep. Yeah. So Dust didn't get to play. I played for an hour. Until he broke the network. Until I broke my network. Yes. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Anywho. No, all in all, it was a really good night. It was a lot of fun getting into BTB. I actually think I managed to get an achievement too. I think several people got achievements. I almost think I got an achievement. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, but I, I, got, I, got, I, 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 I got the one for shocking multiple people. Nice. Whatever, yeah. that one, whatever one that is. Now I got to look. Like Chain Lightning? Yeah, Chain Lightning. Something like that. Very nice. Come on. Come on, come on. Load. Haas, are you still boycotting Infinite? I, I No. <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't played, <laughs> but no. I joke. I joke. What say you is still on your the highest. one I got. What say you? Okay. Let's see. No, I, that... I kid. I kid. But you're still on your nope, highest. I, I got, I got yep. that on my own. I got that on my own. I didn't get that during the stream. Sorry. Been on a, a blue a blue brand kick lately. So, yeah. Blue brand. The, the hiatus continues. Yeah, you got the green, you got the blue, and you got the red. Okay. Okay. I, th- I thought you were talking about PlayStation, but I wasn't <laughs> entirely sure. I didn't know if you were talking about another game can't believe you would say that on the stream just, I mean, just play whatever kidding. you want man I'm just, well, I'm just sony, <laughs> sony owns halo now right oh jeez yep, that's true i had i had, i had justin from drunken halo text me it's like is it true that sony bought halo i'm like what are you talking about <laughs> and then i had to say like no sony bought bungie and it's like <laughs> oh i have people trying to yank my leg <laughs> And apparently Drunk and Halo, like, they decided to come back and start recording episodes again. So, nice. there's some little cool. community news. Yeah. I haven't gone to check episodes because I've been busy, but... One of the uh, Destiny YouTubers I follow, Fallout Plays, did a little mm-hmm. montage of all the different uh, Sony owns Halo tweets. <laughs> oh it's, actually, it's actually kind of funny. Like, people just don't don't get that bungee I got about... I got about two minutes into it. And I I just had to stop because it was like you morons. <laughs> yeah. And anyways, uh, the one achievement I got was new kid on the block, and it was getting a perfect with the commando in the match made game. Apparently, that's well, that's good. Game. I yeah. still haven't figured out how to do that. Pace your shots. <laughs> Tap the trigger. That's how I did it. I'm doing good just to get a kill with the commando. 
Yeah. And I got a Skyjack, with, but I did it on a Banshee and not a Wasp. Yeah? And I think the achievement is specifically for a Wasp. But it sucks. No. Well, at least BTB works now. Vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's that's important. Is, is that uh, any at all like, enticing you back, Koss, <laughs> that BTB finally works again? If, if I have, a, like, a crew of friends on, and, like, I'm invited, sure, I'll come. But I'm not gonna, like, set up or plan out a night of it. Right, right. Gotta come roll with us, man. Gotta get on that early. I mean, we stream till 11 your time? Or That's our right time? when I get on. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so he gets yeah, on about the time I'm going to bed. Yeah, well, tail end him and it. Zach. Zach goes to, gets on when I go to bed. So, <laughs> Compound says commando perfection, cuss words, and shoot bullets. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it too. Yeah, yeah. I, I found with, and I'm I'm learning this too with the AR that you you just have to pulse it. You just can't go full trigger, yeah, like you can with Halo Five, unless you're sticking it in their chest. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I hit, was it not last, was it last night? Yeah. Last night I was just, you know, running, uh, running a few challenges and I swear I got into a lobby of guys with, uh, aim bots or something. I mean, they were like, it seemed like three bullets out of the freaking AR and I was dead. I was just, they were killing me so freaking fast. It was, it was horrifying actually, but <laughs> Uh oh, we might we might lose GT from playing multiplayer now too. No, it's just it was I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Just, I'm kidding. I I really wish there was you know a way for me to know that for certain because yeah, it's just yeah. Right. Hey Eric Kibu. You've just been showing up to the beginning of the streams quite frequently. I'm impressed. Yeah, he's actually remembering that we're doing this. I know, right? It's like we've been doing this on a schedule. Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Welcome welcome to the stream, Eric Kibu. Yeah, so that was our Fragment Friday. Uh, poll in the Discord for those that want to come over and join us. Uh, I did not do Achieving Halo this past weekend. I took uh, the day off. Uh, but I should be back this weekend for more of that. And probably sticking to either challenges or on Halo Infinite or doing some more Halo Wars general rank grinding with Bobby this coming Sunday. So it'll probably be one of the two. I did, however, hop on a little bit before the podcast tonight, and I, I did one bot match in Infinite, and I did one match in MCC just to get a couple games in, and things are feeling good on, on both fronts. Mm -hmm. MCC was a little little jittery at the, at the start can definitely feel the population has t taken an impact because it took like six or seven minutes for me to find a social match. Wow. I did find out that my gaming laptop is not really king on running Halo Infinite. <laughs> Let's put it this way. It loads the game it? slower. Uh, it's newer than my Xbox One X. Okay. Still depends on the internals, but... Well, okay. I mean, it's not. it's not like, you know carrying around yeah. a brick it's a it is yeah. a laptop first it just happens to have a discrete graphics card in it oh okay it runs you know it's got a 1660 mobile so in a, de it. a decent yeah i mean okay. it's not it's not a crap graphics card but yeah it's uh i fired up infinite and i'm sitting there just waiting and waiting and it, and it never did load <laughs> yeah that that first I, I don't know what checks it does whenever it does that initial optimization, yeah, optimization run, but that thing can take a while. Yeah, it, it's it's it was it was just it was absolutely funny because it literally took less time for my Xbox One X to open to open it the first time than it did, does my laptop. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to optimize; it just knows the hardware. Yeah, the hardware is baked into that build. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, it still took, I don't know, the first time I loaded it, I think it took like two minutes to load the game. Oh, okay. So probably did a pro probably did a profile optimization, and then since yeah. the hardware never changes on an Xbox Series X, it probably never has to again. Whereas 
for me, if I, if for some reason an audio or USB device gets unplugged and replugged in, that's a device change and it has to re optimize. So stupid. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, so that was game nights for this week. Uh, nothing new from the community, Tales from the Foxhole wise, to really discuss. Guessing people are just either having an- enough fun playing Halo where they're they're too busy to post and share stuff, or people have been winding down and waiting just for new content, which could also be a thing. But uh, it is nice that Big Team is working. Mm-hmm. Um, and that has been pretty much stable for the most part. I've seen a lot of people actually streaming Infinite over the past week, which is a good sign, I think. Um, a little bit more so than it was a couple of the weeks leading up to. I can only hope that that's a good trend. And maybe the population numbers, I haven't looked at the population numbers either, but hopefully maybe those went back up a, a smidge with the big team fixes. Yeah. I, I, Anyone know? I just stopped looking it, at them. It, it, it hasn't improved. Okay. Not even slightly with the big team fix. Uh, there wasn't. Wasn't a significant enough. You, there wasn't yeah. a noticeable change. Yeah, there wasn't. I mean, the, I mean, we only have the steam charts, but uh, right. The twenty-four hour peak is about where it's been for okay. about a week. Okay. Waiting for content. Mm-hmm. Pretty much what it boils down to at this point. So that's our Potacular community wrap-up. Pretty short and sweet. Uh, the rest of the podcast will be pretty short. I will be surprised if we break 45 minutes for this episode. But this is Potacular. It has happened before when we've planned a short show and it's turned into a long show. So we'll see what happens. The main things on the docket, though, we have a new article that was posted detailing out some of the technical things going on with matchmaking that people have been complaining about. Namely, the desync issues and the, hey, I, I was behind the wall and I still died issues, which I understand their technical implementation. I don't entirely agree with the exact approach they're going with, but we can dig into that a little bit. The nuts and bolts of it, though, for the, uh, the way that the net code is, it will favor the shooter. Almost always, if not always. So if the shooter lands a shot that gets communicated from the client back to the server, the server will uh, modify past history of its own um, simulation of the match to reflect what the shooter has done, and then it will make that happen. So if you think you're being shot through a wall, in one way you're technically not, in another way you technically aren't. Are. And for me, I wish they would balance that out between kind of taking an average. So, like, if, say, for example, if the time stamp on, say, the shooter's perspective comes in to the server, and then, like, I'm behind the wall, if the delta between the time that it takes to process those changes and exit, if if when the average is that the person being shot at was behind the wall, then don't grant that kill. If it was favored the other way, then grant the kill. I probably could have explained that a little bit better, but does does that kind of make sense? What do you? Yeah, I just don't. I, it's a good plan, but with the wide range of latency that is Halo Infinite, I, I don't think you can average it. I think the gap's too wide. I guess they would have to make sure timestamps were achievable. You know, it's just or or a factor in it because yeah, I I've just noticed that there is, you know, I'll get I'll get games where I got you know relatively low latency, and then you know the next game it'll be like four times that, and you know as Bobby put, hundred eighty ping versus. 470 ping it's just I, I think that gap is just too wide and I, but i don't know how they could fix the latency issue because that's based on the connection the clients have to the servers yeah they did say that they are putting restrictions in place so the geo filtering 
shouldn't be as much of an issue anymore, and matches should be a lot more reliable as far as ping goes. So that's an improvement with matchmaking that hopefully will be played out a little bit better, especially in low population regions. Mm -hmm. I have, have to see how that plays out. But I guess if, if there is no timestamp mechanism that they can really uh, weigh off of, it, it, it's, it's, <laughs> I guess it kind of makes sense. It just sucks yeah. when you're on the, on the defensive end. Well, I mean, yeah, this so. is, this has always been a problem with Halo. I've experienced it, you know, in, in every Halo game. You know, I'll be around the corner and I die to a BR shot. I'm like, how the hell did he hit me? Yeah. This feels like the most It does obvious. feel... Yes. It does feel more pronounced in Infinite. I will say that. You know, like when I was playing on Monday and Tuesday night, yeah, I swear the guy was shooting me through the wall. I feel the same way, Bobby. I feel like I can never unwrap... Un never outrun people shooting me, but people can outrun when I shoot them. It does feel like that. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's just because my aim sucks, which is very likely the case. Well, my, I know it's my, my case. I know, I know it's my <laughs> aim. <laughs> but it, it's just, it sucks whenever you, like, okay, I have an exit strategy for when I do get, sh starting to get shot, but then <clears throat> it's entirely up to the ping on the, the client side. And I mean... <laughs> That leads to those latency s switches again, all the way back from the original Xbox days, right? Mm -hmm. Standbying, standbying 2.0. It leads, it potentially leads to that. You know, I often wonder if that's why I have so much trouble with Halo Three, because it just it it never seems my shots connect. Well, so Halo Three, you had to lead your shots. Yeah, I know. I mean, even when I lead my shots. Uh, you know, I'm talking back in the day, not now. Yeah. You know, I, I wondered how much, I wonder how much of my issues with Halo 3, because of you having to lead your shots, how much of that problem that I was having was due to the latency of my connection. It's, it's very possible. Oops, I forgot. And, you know, me in. just not leading it enough. Yeah. I, I'm with Hosso. This feels like it's the most pronounced out of all previous Halo games. Like, there there have been times where I feel like, okay, I shouldn't have gotten shot through the wall there, but it's, it would usually only happen maybe once or twice a game, and then it, don't, it would only happen very infrequently. Where I feel like if I died behind the wall, then it was because I had just crossed the wall path. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, there's a little bit of Delta there. I could, I would, I can understand where I got sh shot through the wall, but now it's like, okay, I'm behind this wall for a good third of a second. And I feel like, okay, I'm fine. And then I die. And it's like, really? Yeah. And well, I, I do have to, I do have to admit that they did do a decent job of illustrating what they they're did. trying to, they did what they're trying to explain uh, with some actual screenshots showing you the difference between you know, if you had the theoretical zero millisecond lag or latency versus, you know, the average 33 millisecond lag, which is, I guess that's what their target is, you it's know, versus typical. going to a 50 millisecond, uh, 50 milliseconds, you know, clear up to what was it? A hundred and something or no, sorry. 75 milliseconds. I think it was. That and how, three. Yeah. You know, how the difference between what the shooter sees and what the, you know, the target is doing. Yes. You know, like if you're getting shot, what you're experiencing versus what the shooter actually sees. <clears throat> so I, I, did, I, do, I do appreciate that because it made it a little bit easier for me to understand because I network, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and the latency thing also impacts the missed melee punches <clears throat> and also shot registration issues. Mm -hmm. Basically boils down to where the player actually is from what the server thinks the player is at versus what you're seeing on your screen. 
is always different. And there's code in the game to kind of help predetermine where they think players are, are going to be based on last known trajectory and, and movement and that kind of stuff. So there's there's always a, a tad bit of, of guesswork whenever it comes to you see someone in front of you, they might not be exactly there. So by the time you actually engage with that object, things could get a little wonky. And they explain how that's different with shooting and meleeing. Mm -hmm. Basically, if two people are strafing, you could have someone right in front of you on your client, but that's because the latest update that you got from the other client going to the server coming to you is, what, 150 milliseconds old? So when you melee in that moment, you're actually meleeing in the past, which is mm -hmm. explains a little bit of the ghosting, a little bit of the apparent like players are merging through your punches instead of actually hitting. They did say, however, there are some uh, improvements that they've had queued up that should help address some of the weirdness of those encounters. So hopefully we'll see an improvement on those uh, melees. Um, some of it is kind of taking a little bit of what they've done with the the shooting piece where they kind of rewind time a little bit mm -hmm. to recalculate the outcome. And there's a couple of things with the melee system. It's distinctly different from the shooting because shooting is just line of sight projectile where melee you're actually having to interact with another object directly in game space but they're looking at kind of s massaging that a little bit more to hopefully make melees better for the most part so we'll, we'll see how these um improvements come out i know i've definitely been on the receiving end of hey i'm behind the wall and i'm dying and i mm -hmm. haven't i've had a few like ghost melee hits in response to this, they're also looking at implementing things within the UI to give you better indication of your ping time to the server and other people's lag time and what the round trip time for that stuff is. And they they also mentioned in the cases of melee and shot registration issues, if you, if you see that and you have local recordings to support a, a, t a submit a support ticket, that that's and honestly, that's the best way that they can take this data and really make changes is when people actually go and put the time to report instead of just complaining about it on social media. Yeah. They do also make a point of saying that it, this is for PC players, that on your simulation quality to set it to ultra, that gives you, gives the system is the maximum amount of time to be able to make corrections. It's not a fix, but it should minimize your your issues. And uh, I forget who wrote this. Uh, Richard Watson. Uh, he said that it's <clears throat> not that much more CPU intensive to turn on or to turn up this particular feature. It, it is a little bit extra to do that extra processing to make sure that you're getting all the uh, proper updates from the server. Mm -hmm. So if you're having issues with shot registration or melee, then bumping that up should help smooth that out a little bit more. I feel like there was one other thing that they mentioned uh, about rubber banding that, I for that we forgot to touch on. Oh, the desync, the total mm -hmm. desync issue. So they, they have identified uh, a, an issue or some key issues behind some of the desync problems that they're looking to um, implement debug code that they can take data back in. Uh, and that was an up in an update that released today for the game. And they're hoping to take that back and work on a fix, I guess, after, after this month. So they're, they're in data collection mode now. They think they know what it is, but they're going to be collecting data. So, they can hopefully address the game desync issues going forward. Hope so. Yep. So in addition to that, we've got our very first community update. And for most community updates, uh, it's pretty much a recap of the 
last amount of news things that has happened over the past, in this case, couple of months, since it's been a while since we've had our last one. Uh, things like the update that we just went through were included in it, uh, mentioning HCS uh, Anaheim, which <laughs> just so happens to be during the Super Bowl. We were talking about that a little bit before the stream and how that's kind of a unfortunate mishap and viewership is most likely going to be down <laughs> during that event for the regional NA finals. Oops. Yeah, I don't. I I didn't even realize that the Super Bowl was this weekend until I saw a tweet yesterday saying, "Hey, this is the same time as the Super Bowl. Who made that decision?" Yeah, I think that was whose idea out. was this? Well, Haas had a, a good theory behind that. I think that's why you were getting a drink before the podcast. I yeah, heard the end of it. Yeah, I just think they they scheduled this stuff out, you know, a year plus in advance, and then with the NFL extending their season an extra game this year, adding an extra playoff weekend, essentially like there's a lot of other factors now in place that I think have just pushed it back into when halo thought they were clear of it. Yeah. And unfortunately they weren't. Yeah. So it's unfortunate, but uh, I'll probably be watching that over the super bowl. Cause I really don't care that much about the super bowl. <laughs> I will probably be up here playing video games. I know I'm not an American because I don't like the Super Bowl. I will be watching football. And <laughs> my, probably my team's not in uh, it. I don't need to watch it. Once the Super Bowl's over, I'll come right back over and start playing video games. Keep watching Halo and yeah, should be good. Pins will be watching the Puppy Bowl. Thank, thankfully, you know, the Halo tournaments have a tendency to end pretty late in the night. So true. We should be good. True. Very true. For those that sign into Halo Infinite uh, during the month of February, there is a, a Pan African nameplate and emblem for celebration of Black History Month. So, free content. Uh, MCC is actually slated to get an update, and there will be a new development blog coming out here pretty soon. Which means I need to start getting on the grind and actually finishing out my season eight challenges in <laughs> MCC. <laughs> so. That's another possibility that I might jump back into for achieving Halo. We'll we'll see if if that jumps around. There's going to be drops during the HCS Anaheim NA Finals as well. So if you want to go on over and, and nab some of those, those will be available on Twitch. Uh, there's some new HCS gear for the launch of HCS on Halo Infinite, as they partner with Face It for that stuff. Um, a lot of basic designs. I'm not. Where's where's the the nice like colorful and intricate designs? Like I feel like See, everything's like gone the, super simple. I like the low profile. Like if you're a Halo fan or somebody that's kind of in the scene, you you can see the logo or whatever. And now like this the HCS camo hoodie. I don't think it. You can see it. It's not but, coming out really well. Yeah. Yeah. But like nobody knows what it is unless you see HCS and you ask. Or you are part of the scene. I like this kind of clothing because okay. I can just kind of wear it. It doesn't draw a lot of attention. Like I, th one thing I always hate is like walking out the store and they're like, "Oh, game, sport, player." I like, you're like, man, I'm just wearing the shirt because it goes with what I'm wearing today. Like, I'm I'm not wearing it for a statement. <laughs> like, I just I like the look of it. That's so a fair I, point. I like the low profile stuff. Sometimes I like to make a statement with what I'm wearing, but not all the time. So I, I like variety. I would just like my ha the Halo shirts to be available in my size. That too. There is that. <laughs> there is that. You're can leaving some... money on the table here. Can we get I some have tall money for in Halo the house? shirts? Yep. Yeah. Where's the big and tall section? Exactly. Come on. We need the Halo Big and Tall store. You're an inclusive company, Microsoft and 343. Where's where's yeah. the inclusivity? Yeah. We're, we're kind of missing out here. Yeah. Claiming size discrimination. <laughs> exactly. There's some Xbox gear shop goodness for Valentine's Day. There's some new Halo uh, specific merch in uh, red and pinks that you can get if you so choose. Uh, that's over in the Xbox gear shop. There's going to be a Mega Halo Day coming up this month as well as Halo and Mega Partner, and there's going to be some kind of special 
virtual panel kicking off sometime as well. Halo is partnered with OPI, which I guess is a uh, makeup brand. So they have an OPI Xbox nail polish. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I can't really speak to makeup that much because I don't use it. So I can't either. Boss. <laughs> I got the nail polish for my daughters for Valentine's Day. But sure. I don't use it. <laughs> like, okay. uh, for, for, first hand, uh, first hand reviews. Are we on? Uh, no, not until Valentine's Day. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and apparently the he tested it on his toes. I did. There you go. You'll never see it. There you go. The experience with Halo on Ways has been extended. <laughs> I was under the impression it was just going to be there permanently, but I guess that's only for a certain amount of time. But. I will have to admit that the Waze navigation app sucks. I love oh, it. I love it. Yeah. I don't. And it, it's it's owned by Google. Like, if you use Google Maps, it's like the same thing almost. Basically. Yeah. No. <laughs> what what What's quirky about it for you? It's path making. I mean, I, I don't. I, I was just goofing it. around with it. And I... I was headed over to my brother's house, so I figured, what the hell? Let's just turn it on so I can listen to Master Chief. Mm -hmm. And it had me going like five blocks out of my way to go to my brother's house, which is literally just the other side of town from where I live. And it's not like it was taking me on a major road. Hmm. But then I just, yeah, I just, just to check, because I knew that they were, you know, what navigation they use, I pulled up Google Maps and it just bloop, straight there. Well, so if you've used Google Maps before, it'll adjust based on your preferred. I have never used before. Google Maps to go to okay. my brother's house. Okay. Because I know where he lives. I mean, I don't need GPS to get there. I was, like I said, huh. I was just using it just because I wanted to listen to Master Chief because <laughs> I hadn't actually used it yet. Interesting. I, I don't like I don't like the screen anyway. It just yeah. I I personally love it. I'm, to each his own. You know, yeah, I don't like Pizza yeah. Hut either. I had some tonight. It was delicious. So good for you. I'm having lavish bread pizza tonight. I'm very Ooh. lavish. Ooh. Lavish. Anyways, you can count that one as a tangent on the bingo card if you want. I've I've got it, so I'll take it. I don't, so I won't. <laughs> My my one square that I've been able to claim for this entire night. They talk about the sunsetting of the Xbox 360 matchmaking services for Halo 3, Halo Reach, and uh, Halo 4. I'm not sure why they include Spartan Assault, because Spartan Assault's not supposed to be part of that. Neither is Halo Wars. So I think that might be incorrect. Um, anyways. I guess you'll find out next time you try to do matchmaking on Halo Wars. And we'll see. I still got achievements in Spartan Assault I need to get, too. Same here. Yep. Uh, they talk about the trailer for the Halo TV show. There's a video that Steve Downs uh, posted or was involved with about the proceeds that he took from his cameos, I think, at the tail end of last year. Mm -hmm. He donated proceeds to a school in Ghana. Uh, and then a there there was the infinite art panel that we talked about i think what 3 or 4 weeks ago on the podcast yeah. there's a a panel about the artists that were involved with that and just a little recap on that so again community update just a lot of recap on things for the most part and that's the news for this week new stuff in the marketplace the tenrai event will be Back for its fourth week at some point here soon. I did break down and buy some credit because I wanted the Longhorns on the Warthog and, and the Halo. So I did break down and actually buy Yeah, I do it. I do it. It was it was only a matter of time before I, there was something that they that they hooked me in with. And it's like, yeah, okay. Okay. I, I, saw, that, I, I saw that in the store and I'm like, Tess is going to buy that. Yep. Yep. I did. Did, didn't think you know i didn't you know the longhorns yeah okay yeah but the the i saw the halo and i like dust is gonna buy that yeah i did i did 
I paid the three dollars for it. Yeah, I did. Anyways, yeah, Ericibu bought some of the uh, OPI nail polish. So good for you. I thought about buying it for my wife. I'll think I didn't even know about it till tonight. So I neither did I, honestly. <laughs> so hopefully next week we'll actually start a campaign discussion. Uh, we were planning to take this week off, but then they had the community update. So we decided to come on and do a quick little show. Uh, so that's all we've got for tonight. Nice short suite. And I actually might get it edited and published before the end of the night, which is also kind Ooh. of a, a rarity. Yeah. Oh, well then yeah, one of us is going to have to forget to upload our audio or something. We can't have that. <laughs> Don't you dare screw with my rhythm. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> Feel free to come join us tomorrow night on Friday for our Fragon Friday with GT. Again, poll for that will be in our Discord. Um, if you want to come over and join us for either MCC, Halo 5, or Halo Infinite. You can find us on Twitch every Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time for our podcast, except for weeks that we decide to take off. Even then, we're on playing Halo most likely during that day anyways. Then we got our Fragon Friday on Fridays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time and Achieving Halo on Sundays starting around 9.30 Eastern Time as well. You can find the podcast on Spotify, iTunes, or Apple Podcasts technically, Facebook, Stitcher, pretty much anywhere you can listen to podcasts. Uh, If there's a place that we're not that you like to listen to podcasts, just reach out to us and let us know and we'll get that squared away for you. You can find the podcast across all social media as well. We are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, all the mainstream ones for the most part. Seems like the Xbox clubs are kind of fizzling out, so no no MySpace here, Kibu. There uh-huh. is not really much movement, I think, with the Xbox Club, so while that still exists, I don't think I'll be checking it anymore because the last thing that was published to that was from Bobby back in July. So, yeah, if you want to post and share stuff with us to cover in our test from the Foxhole segment at the beginning of the show, drop it in our Discord or tag us on social media. You can help out the podcast in a number of different ways. First one is just by sharing us with your friends and other Halo fans out there that you know. Uh, Word of mouth goes a long way. And uh, any reviews that you can do on your podcasting uh, app of choice would also be helpful as well. If you want to support us monetarily, you can do so by subscribing to us on Twitch, becoming a patron alongside Confal, Prestige, and Pins, or donating to us directly by going to podtechover.com slash donate. Well, gents, we are under the 45-minute mark still, somehow. Yeah. I can't remember the last time we were actually under 45 minutes for a podcast, so I will take it. <laughs> time for a tangent. Nope. We already had one of those. Pizza. Time for another tangent. Pokemon? <laughs> There's a new Pokemon they released in Pokemon Go this week. Let's see. Let's see. Damn it! I don't have Pokemon tonight. Nah. Somebody, somebody's not friends with me on Pokemon Go. I didn't know you played. Well, well now you know. Well, we're going to rectify that. Which Pokemon are you boot? Um, I will let you know in a sec. After we close out the show. I can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Catching Pokemon! Hey, we got the three tra- three times transfer challenge complete. Cool. So that'll be it for the podcast tonight. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you all next week right here. Same time, same place. We'll be hopefully finally talking about the campaign. Again, look for social media. We'll be taking feedback on that, taking input for... Uh, the first mission, if not the first two missions in Halo Infinite and uh, also some multiplayer stuff as well. So watch out for that and until then, keep on fragging them trucks. <laughs> <laughs>